Hi guys, it's me D from Infobro. So I am here with a video on the topic femoral nerve. So its origin, root value, course and its branches will be dealt here. So, so that you can memorize this topic in a very easy way. So let's start the topic femoral nerve. The femoral nerve is the chief nerve of the anterior compartment of the thigh. And now for the origin and root value of this nerve. It is the largest branch of the lumbar plexus and it is formed by the dorsal division of anterior primary rami of the spinal nerve L2, L3, L4. The root value is L2, L3, L4. Now we can discuss about the course. So this course, so before that we need to know this is the right leg. And you have, I think you all know about the femoral triangle. If you want the section on femoral triangle, let me know in the comment section. So in the anterior part of the thigh, we can see this green line. This is the inguinal ligament. All of you know about inguinal ligament. So this part has a role in the course of the femoral nerve. Now we can know this red line. This is the femoral artery. All of you know about the contents of the femoral triangle. So the following written is the lateral side and this is the medial side. Now we can understand the lateral and the medial side. So it is written here the femoral artery and inguinal ligament. At first it the course of the femoral nerve it enters the femoral triangle by passing behind the inguinal ligament. It is passing behind the inguinal ligament and it is lateral to the femoral artery. So you can see in the diagram and in the thigh it lies between the groove of the between the iliacus and the suas major so we can see the both muscle in, in the diagram the that was the iliacus and the suas major now it lies between them and after a short course about 2.5 centimeter below the inguinal, inguinal ligament so we can see this 2.5 centimeter below the inguinal ligament it is divided into anterior and the posterior division so the it is dividing into anterior and posterior division now we shall discuss about the branches the branches are given to the muscles so we can memorize this muscles with the mnemonic sori lima so the s r l i m a is the mnemonic so the m1 stands for the sartorius so you need to memorize this m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 and the m6 so the m2 is for the rectus femoris so the m1 for the sartorius m2 for the rectus femoris and the l the l stands for the vastus lateralis so the m3 is vastus lateralis so that is for the m1 m2 and m3 now for m4 so the m4 is for the vastus intermedius so the vastus intermedius is written for the m4 so that's for the m4 so m1 m2 m3 m4 now for the m5 so the m5 stands for the vastus medialis so the vastus medialis is stand by the m5 now for the last one that is the m6 so you need to memorize this m1 m2 m4 m5 m m6 so the m6 is the articularis genu so you need to know which all are the m1 m2 m3 m4 and m5 and m6 now for the cutaneous supply of these nerves the c1 c2 and c3 so the c1 is stands for the intermediate cutaneous nerve of the thigh so the intermediate cutaneous nerve of the thigh is represented by the C1 and C2 it is representing the medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh. So the medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh is represented by the C2. So you need to memorize this M M1, M2, M3, M4, M5 and M6 and this C1 and C2. Now for the C3, C3 is the saphenous nerve. So the saphenous nerve is memorized by the C3. So C1, C2 and C3. You need to memorize this. And now for the joints. So the, it is represented by J1 that is the hip joint and J2 this knee joint. You can memorize this very easily. So I got no mnemonic for this. So now for the which division is giving these branches. 
so the femoral nerve i have already told about that it is dividing into anterior and posterior division so i have written here the femoral nerve is dividing into anterior and posterior division and i have already told about you have need to know about the m1 to m6 and c1 to c3 and j1 and j2 so that you can memorize this division in a very easy way so the from anterior division it is giving m1 c1 and c2 so m1 c1 and c2 is given by the anterior division now for the posterior division there is giving this five branches are giving directly from the posterior division that is m2 m3 m4 and m5 and c3 you need to know this is m2 m3 m4 m m5 and c3 so from m2 it is giving j1 and from m3 it is j2 and from m5 it is j2 and from m4 it is giving two branches that is j2 and m6 if you know this diagram you can memorize all the branches of the femoral nerve so anterior and posterior division so posterior division it is bit longer and you need to memorize this picture so that you can memorize this so the branches mnemonic for the muscles m1 sartorius rectus femoris vastus lateralis vastus intermedius vastus medialis and articularis genu and that's for the muscles now for the cutaneous it is intermediate cutaneous nerve of the thigh medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh saphenous nerve hip joint and knee joint and that's all for the femoral nerve if you like this video like share and subscribe and Thank you all for watching this video.